All right, now we're going to take a look at a couple different things in terms of text box and the actual text itself. Um, this right here is the basic default setting that PowerPoint gives you anytime you open up Microsoft PowerPoint. You'll notice two text box boxes, one on the top here, one on the bottom. And obviously this is when we want to type something in PowerPoint. This is obviously where we type it. Now, we're going to start all the way from the beginning, so I'm actually going to delete, excuse me, we're actually going to delete these two boxes and we're going to start all over. Left click, delete. So step one in today's video is actually going to be inserting our own text box if we choose to on um, a PowerPoint slide. So if we go all the way up here to the insert tab, about halfway through there will be a text box. If we left click on that text box, we come over here to the slide, left click, hold and drag, and a text box is going to open up. Now, you can't change the size of the text box. I can left click, hold, and drag it. It's not going to get any bigger. It will expand the more text you write in, uh, which we'll get into in, in a second. We can move it, however. So if you slide all the way down here, we can place that text down here. Now, uh, let me take this, an important note when we're adding a text box. If there's no actual text in it, once we left click off of it, this is Pierce and we can't get it back. It's not a big deal, obviously. We just go to insert text box and add another one, but I just want to make you guys aware of that. So we'll left click and drag again, open up another text box, and this is the text for the text box. Okay, so now that we actually have text in the text box, we can left click. Um, the box goes away, but the text stays here. And this when you show your PowerPoint presentation, and all you'll see anyway. But now when we left click on it, we have the text box again. Something I want you to make note of is, again, as I left click off of it, excuse me. So I left, left click off of it, you'll notice the last tab up here is Acrobat. When I go to select the text and also the text box that comes along with it, you'll notice there's a format tab that comes up. And we're going to use this tab to really explore how to manipulate text box text boxes and the text inside them. So once we left click on the box, we come up here and we notice again that format tab. So we left click on the format tab and we take a look, look at our options. Now, there's uh, many different things, shapes, some other things you can edit, some basic uh, shape styles that you can implement. The PowerPoint's already made for you. And you can see as I hover over them, the text box down here changes as well. Um, but what we're really going to focus ourselves with right here is this column right here, shape fill, shape outline, shape effects, and the text fill, text outline, text effects. Um, you, you can imagine the shape fill, in this case the shape is obviously the box, or more specifically the text box. If we left click on shape fill, very simply the, you're telling the computer what color you want to fill that text box with. I'm going to pick, uh, because of the black font, I'm just going to pick a nice bright yellow so the text still stands out. Left click on it, and obviously now we have ourselves um, a yellow text box. If we go back up here to shape fill, you notice some different options. Um, gradients, which are going from one color to another color, in this case, dark to light yellow. Um, many different options. If we go to more gradients, this is stuff that you could play with all day once it pops up. We're not going to get into this, I just want to show you um, that these are options you do have if you want to play around there. Also, again, if we go to shape outline, there's texture, there's stuff that PowerPoint has already um, given to you and has, has already, sorry about that, has already given to you. So, so where were we? Shape fill, texture, if we want to make it those bubbles or the raindrops, sandy pattern, wood pattern, all these different options. If we left click and choose one of those, that obviously becomes your background. Um, something, something that's pretty neat that I think you'll like is if you want to make a text, a picture, the background, um, if we left click on this box, I'm sure you've noticed, if we go to shape fill, go to picture, the computer is going to ask you what picture would you like to, me to put in the background. And I'll just, for right now, pick the standard jellyfish, which we used before, click insert. And now the background is a jellyfish. It's hard to see, so what we're going to do is, and this lends as well right to the um, changing of our text is, Right here, remember we said that the text box won't get any bigger unless the text inside it gets bigger. That's just going to move it. So if we left click and hold and highlight the text, we can go to the home tab and we can change the size of the text. I'm going to go nice and big all the way to, to 88. And you can see this is the text in the text box and now we have the background picture just like we talked about. Now just so we can e more easily see these words, 
there the text I'm going to left click on the text box I'm going to go to format and I'm going to go to shape fill and I'm going to make it a solid color and get that picture out of there just so we can easily read that and there we go All right. now what we have here obviously is a text box with text in it now one more thing we can do to this text box if we left click on it check out format now we're going to go to the shape outline again the shape is the text box in this case and we left click again it allows us to pick a color we'll pick a, a dark green color and if you look real closely you'll notice there's an outline and believe it or not that's dark green if we left click again go to the options we can actually do a better job of seeing that green if we go to the weight or the thickness of the actual box outline we can change it and make it thicker so it stands out a little more if we go all the way to six obviously you can see how much thicker it gets here if we can go to more lines and these give you tons of options of, of how you can change the outline of your box I'm not going to get into it but one thing it does let you do is if you go right here it can let you very quickly and easily change the weight of your outline we'll just keep it at 12 uh, just to see it so now we have that yellow box with um, shape fill and then we have the shape outline one more thing we can do with that shape outline if we left click on the box and go to shape outline we change the weight but we can also change the type of line we can make it dashed uh, I mean you guys can see for yourselves there's many different options how we can make the line we'll just keep ours dotted like that just for show we left click and now we have a fill uh, a shape fill of yellow a 12 point green outline box and we made that uh, outline dot I apologize for that. Keep happening. Now let's take a look at the text. We've already highlighted it and made it larger by going to home, but we also have options after we highlight this box to again go to format, and now we're going to take a look at the text fill. Now the text fill in this case is obviously black, but we can easily change it to any sort of color. We'll go to, go to a nice blue. There we go. I'll stand out. And we click blue and that changes the text color probably something you guys already know how to do but what's neat about this when we go into the format tools is if we go to text outline just like the text box it'll let us change the outline of the text now we'll start by we'll, we'll give it a nice red color text outline left click select oh I'm sorry we gotta highlight the text text outline there we go click that dark red and you may notice that there's a little dark red uh, outlining each text and again it's hard to see so what we can do if we go to text outline and just like the shape outline we go to weight we can make it a little bit thicker and this as we go down now you don't want to go too thick as you can see we get to all the way to six point you almost can't see the blue anymore so you got to I mean that's a neat look you can do that look but you need to be aware that uh, sorry about that that we need to be aware that the weight if you get too thick you're really going to drown out the text fill color so we're going to keep it at three just so we can easily see it and the last thing after we already have this highlighted go back up to text outline again if we want to make it dash we can make the outline of the text dash too which I think that kind of looks neat so that's just um, a little something you can do with your text now I'm not going to get into it in this video there's a lot of different options tons of things to go through but you also can add effects to the shape if we left click on it make it glow it's just a real basic one and then there's more glow colors and a million different options you can see but you can add a glow to the box um, if we highlight the text, word effects, we can add a glow to the text if we'd like to. So you'll notice now everything's glowing and, there, and there's many if we left click effects. I just want you to be aware that you can change the fill and the outline of a text box or any shape you're dealing with. Um, and also the text fill and the text outline. You can certainly highlight your text, go to the home slide and still center it and you know you got your your bolts and your underlines still that you have in the home tab but just know that the format tabs here for the text as well as for the shape fill and if you need to insert um, a text box at any point in your PowerPoint slide it's just simple left click on the insert and the text box is right here left click hold and drag and you have yourself a new text box I hope this helped you out